Yay, my ice yarns arrived. I don't even remember what I ordered. Isn't that terrible? I have so much that I want and so many projects that I want to do, and I just forget what I've already gotten and what is still coming. Okay, let's open it. It's really heavy. I'm going to put it on the... Well, maybe I'll try to open it here. Where's the top? What are we saying is the top? This one? This side? I see yarns this way. I see the logo underneath the tape. Let's see if I can open it. And then we'll put it on the ground. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. Where do I start? See if I can feel the edge. Okay, now I'm going to put it down. Ah! Oh, wow, look. I wanted to try this so bad. This is baby mix. Okay, you have to see baby mix. What? Baby mix. Yes, I'm taking it out. Let me wash my hands. This is kind of still gross. That box is filthy. It's really nice. Wow, it's soft. Okay, I feel like I have to bring you closer. Okay, that's better, right? We can talk. Baby mix, so three to 3.5 needle. Number two for fine, 100 grams, 370 meters, 100% premium acrylic, blue green shade. Oh, they have the shade on the yarn label now. That is so cool. How pretty is that? Wow, it's, it's thin, but it is so pretty. I love it. It feels like not the softest, it still feels like acrylic, like it's not baby cotton. And everything I'm saying is compared to baby cotton, which is my latest thing, and it is literally like, like your skin is touching your own skin, like it's so dreamy. This is really nice. The twist on it is really nice, like it wouldn't split. That, I would imagine, is a non-splitting yarn. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Okay, you are going, I know exactly where you're going. And you're going there right now. I have a spot for you. Let me see. Right there. Love it. Okay. Ah. Oh, wow. Oh, I have one of these, right? Or do I? Cakes Erin, I do. Is mine the same colors? I think it is. So now I have three of these ones, awesome. And one of these, oh, I love it. I think this is the same as, I wanna say Mandala. Is it Lion Brand Mandala? Oh my gosh, the colors. Oh my gosh, the colors. Can you see in there? 
Is that not like literally dreamy? Like you don't even have to crochet it, you could just look at it. Like, oh, really soft. 100% acrylic, 200 grams, 360 meters, worsted weight. Cakes, Erin. Mmm, you are so pretty. So pretty. Well, I know where you're going, up in my cake aisle. So pretty. I love that purpley one. I love that purpley one. Now, these come in like one color per pack. This was just a gift from Ice Yarns. Thank you so much. The rest I've purchased, but he did throw in some things on the top for me. Which this one too. Okay, okay, wait, I'm putting this away. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you are going right here. Cakes Aaron, love it. This one, I wanted to feel so badly. Is that another one in there? It is. I am doing something so wild and crazy with this. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I got all carried away. This is pure merino worsted. Worsted weight merino. What? What? I just wanted to feel it. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. It's wool. Like, it's woolly. It's nice, woolly. It's spongy. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna share, hold on. Let me get this guy ready for sharing. Okay. One for you, one for me. Pure Merino worsted, 100% Merino wool, 50 grams, 105 meters, a four to five millimeter needle, and it's a four weight. It's woolly. I mean, it feels like wool, but it's not a scratchy wool. Oh. What does it want to be? I'm waiting for it. It's like, it says cardigan. Maybe a pullover. Oh. And look at the colors. Okay, so this color is lilac. Lilac. And the next color is light blue. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta get in on that. We have to see it out of the pack. Light blue. I really like, whenever they say light blue on ice yarns, it means kind of like this smoky gray. See what I mean? It's kind of, it's just kind of like a smoky gray. Oh, this is gonna be me. I'm like, oh, wow. I've never made anything out of 100% um, wool before. This would be my first. Such a pretty sweater, right? Wouldn't that be such a pretty sweater? Okay, I better put them back. I'm mauling them. I'm officially mauling yarn. So pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'll have to check the weight of this shipment, actually. Now, where am I putting worsted weight? Merino. I don't even have a spot. Oh, maybe by Zerpa. Zerda? My Zerda? I can put him with Zerda. Sorry about my fancy outfit. Okay, Zerda. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> oh. I should really move myself over here. Okay, that's better. Look at this. Saver in turquoise. So the difference between Saver 100. Oh, I thought that was Saver. Oh, how do I, I can't even look. Oh my gosh, there's so much right there. Okay, let me, I was trying to find you a Saver to compare it to, but everything is just getting better and better over there. Okay, without looking at Saver. <laughs> This yarn is 200 gram balls and it is, I want to say 175 meters, not that I've memorized it. No, 200 grams, 130 meters. 
and it is 100% Draylon acrylic. So Draylon acrylic, I googled it, so this is just from Google, but apparently it's like premium acrylic. So this is 200 grams premium acrylic. So it is, uh, and I've also heard from some of my friends on Facebook from our The Secret Yarn Recrochet community page that it is softer than Saber 100 by a smudge, like once it's worked up. I'm a Saber 100 girl, but I'm also kind of also a Saber girl, so I'm, I haven't totally picked my favorite, but if you're just going by premium acrylic, you'd be like, well, of course, I'm going to get premium acrylic. These are one, these are three dollars a ball, I think. So it works out to a dollar fifty uh, per 100 grams for premium Draylon acrylic. And they should be center pull, I hope. Yeah, they look to be center pull, which I also like a lot. And I love the color. So these are a little bit thicker than Saver 100. I think like, you get an extra like 10 meters per 100 grams from Saver 100, something like that. I love it. So that is my do do do. Oh no, that's still a Rena. Saver's still on top of that. So I'm just gonna start stacking things here for now, I guess, till I get myself over there. Okay, now be serious. Alpaca gold, merino bulky. Okay, one at a time. I, don't, I have this in other colors, and I don't really want to just show you the white because it's going to be hard for you to see, which is why I was like looking over there. So I'm going to make a pile of that. And I have Merino Bulky, a lot of it coming in red. <gasps> Lorena, okay, I have to stop. How bad is this? It's like my worst unboxing. I can't stay focused. There's too much in there. Okay, let me get the Wool Bulky. This is the same, right? Wool Bulky? Merino Bulky. Merino Bulky. Merino bulky. Mm. Merino bulky. Merino bulky. <laughs> I have a lot of merino bulky. Let's see what I can put it on. Look at the color. Oh, okay, this one's open. Good, good, good. Okay, any more Merino Bulky? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay, I think that's it. Oh my God, okay, you can't look in there. It's so much, there's so much goodness in there. Okay, hold on, now. Merino Bulky. I bought a lot of it because, one, I want to make something fabulous for my husband with my red lambkin and the red, oh wow. Get out. This is fabulous. This bag's open, good. Holy. Okay, now let me explain the Kuka brand. I'm probably saying it wrong, I apologize. This brand, it's also an Ice Yarn label, Ice Yarn brand. Um, it's their premium line. So any of their like literally premium version will have this label on it. Which when I first started shopping at Ice Yarn, I thought like it doesn't look premium. It kind of looks, um, you know, not that great. But it is their premium line. And let me tell you, get out. Look at the, the weave on that yarn. Can you see it? So this is called Merino Bulky. It's for a seven millimeter needle, so at least an eight millimeter hook. It is a number six bulky, 100 grams, 100 meters, 50% merino wool, 50% acrylic. What a nice yarn. What a nice yarn. So bulky and so soft. I mean, I guess, it, like, I do feel a bit, like, it's not, it's not baby cotton. But wow, zers, on your hands? Holy, I'm so happy with it. So what I wanted to do with this, a bunch of, I think I have about six packs of the red, something like that, because I want to do something fabulous with lambkin, which I can't tell you because my husband's home, he's just down the hall. But you'll see it when I get, when I do it. 
And then also when I was shopping for the red, look what I found. They had these colors. And I don't know if you can totally see, um, but these ones, they just looked so great together. And they're all like a warm, like all the warm tones. I don't know what I want to totally do with it, but I bought two packs of each for a project with two packs of white to maybe do like fat stripe and then a white stripe, fat stripe, white stripe, kind of like a, almost an ombre kind of blanket or throw, which will be nice and cozy warm like for on your sofa. Look at the colors. I thought it would just be like so great. And I just love this purple, and I don't even love purple, but that purple was awesome. Even the copper and the maroon, I just love it. So this is white, violet, red. Oh, this one is called copper, copper and maroon. Love it. So this will be a project. And then the red with black and gray. I also bought it in black and in a charcoal -y gray to go with the red. I'm not sure totally what I'm doing with that for the hubs, but something in many colors, red, black, gray, like everything cool. And basically all in really nice yarn. Lambkin with bulky merino. What? Merino bulky. So excited. Where's merino bulky going? I don't even know. Got to find a spot over there somewhere. Over there? Maybe it has to be. Oh, well, I guess my pillow can come down. Bye, pillow. I've got to start working on that one. Ooh, it is so pretty. Seven millimeter hook. It's going to go by so fast. I think there might even be more. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that was it. Maybe that is it, actually. Oh my gosh, it just screams winter blanket. Love it. Oh, there now. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right. Ooh. Boom! Eyelash. Get out. Gypsy pink. I wanted the lo loudest, brightest, craziest eyelash, and I got it. It's pretty much like neon pink, and look how long the eyelash is. I love it. So this is the same as the, let me just grab it here. Excuse my butt. The ver this is the same version as the orange, but in pink. So this is how it works up with a six millimeter hook and nothing else. That's a six milli. So I really like it. It's really great. It's just a really good uh, yarn to use if you're like doing a, like working into holes so you don't have to see your stitches. It comes out like it looks spectacular, right? I think that looks really cool. So I got it in the hot pink as well. So I have orange and pink in crazy eyelash. Because who doesn't need crazy eyelash? Totally. Where's my crazy eyelash? It's up there. Love it. I love eyelash. Now, next. I don't even know what to take out of here. Okay, let's do this one. There's a lot. My bedspread. My bedspread. So this is for, I guess it does have a lot of purple in it. <laughs> Maybe I like purple after all. I'm on a purple kick, I guess. This is ambient in pinks and lilacs. What's the actual shade called? Pink shades lilac. Love it. Look at this. I bought a lot because I want to make an actual proper big um, bedspread. And I think with two packs you get about, ooh, this is another one. Is it another one? Yes, it is. This is ambient in the same shade for my shawl which I love, and I should actually just get you my shawl. I'm just making sure there's no more ambient down in there. Yes, there is. Come here, ambient. Ambient is eight. So there's still one more somewhere in here. There it is. 
ambience. Look. <gasps> I love it. So this is very similar to Lion Brand Landscapes, I think it is. Except it's partial. Okay, I have to stop digging in there. I just keep touching really good things. Um, let me get the shawl I made with Ambient so you can see how it works up or how quickly the color changes. I love it, obviously, or I wouldn't be drowning my bed in it. But this is how it works up in a different colorway, obviously. This one is this colorway, which is called Glasses. Pink shades, camel, gray, brown, turquoise. So really nice colorway, like really nice um, subtle, long changes, but gradual. Looks great. So this I'm making into a shawl and I ordered, I think, th three more packs of this so I can also do like a proper border and eight packs to do something on my bedspread. Now let me wait. I'm going to dig for the rest of these because I want to show you the border before I put all that away because I also shopped for my border. Love it. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, right there, hi. So this is gonna be the border. Can you see? So I'm turning it a bit into like watermelony, like a raspberry sorbet with pistachio. Oh, let's open the pistachio. Oh my gosh, of course it's not called pistachio, it's called light green. Oh, this is great. This is alpaca gold. This is 25% alpaca, 25% wool, and 50% acrylic. 100 grams, 120 meters. Delicious. Really nice. It's bulky. Look how bulky it is. Love it. They say, oh, five, a six to seven millimeter hook, and it's a size five for thickness, for bulky. Isn't that great? So when I was, let me get that down. Now we have to open up one of these great little packs. When I was shopping for my ambient, hmm, hmm. How I picked another yarn, because for my border, I want to have something solid, like a solid color, and I wanted it to be a similar thickness. So they're both a size five for bulky. The ambient is 50% wool, 50% acrylic, 100 grams, 134 meters, and it is a six uh, millimeter for needles, so six millimeter needle, seven millimeter hook, and it's a size five for bulky. But how I do my shopping is I go by, uh, I do a search for the hook size or the needle size I want to use or the bulkiness of the yarn. And then I go and check out the yardage you get. So for 100 grams, this is 134 meters, so it's a bit thinner than this one. This is 120 meters. So there's an extra 15 meters in the ambient. But for a border, I'd rather have my borders on my blankets thicker than thinner. Like I don't want a lacy edge. I want like a boom, I'm a border edge. So that's how I picked the yarn for the border. And I didn't want to use acrylic. I wanted to have still like a nice blended yarn. Just, you know, so everything's still kind of the same. But won't that be so cute? So solid, solid pink, solid white, solid green, and the ambient. And it's going to be corner to corner, like a super big corner to corner across my bed. Look at those colors. How fun. And I think throwing the green on the edge will just kind of like freshen it right up. Ooh. So there is those ones. This is a great yarn. This is a really nice yarn if you want to make anything like with a wool blend. I would totally use this one. I would totally use it. It's great. Gee, now we're... <laughs> I'm running out of room. Now 
now my other ambient for my shawl. Three packs of my neutral colorway. So that's going up there too. Okay, next. There is some more fancy yarn in here. I see three more packs of the Merino Bulky. Merino Bulky. So I will get these back on my shelf. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to start crocheting it. That I actually better hurry on. That's for the hub's birthday. It's in like eight, seven days. I don't even think I can get it done by then, but maybe I'll try. <gasps> Saver, what? So what's this, light turquoise and turquoise? Turquoise. Oh, aqua. This one's aqua, aqua. And turquoise. Those colors are awesome. Any more saver in there? I don't think so. No, okay. Saver. I'm getting some nice saver up there. Saver's great. Now, whoo. Okay, I think this one is the same. Pure Merino Worsted. So three colors of Pure Merino Worsted. So beautiful. That goes right here. Look at these ones. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, I have to do something with that. That is a beautiful yarn. Beautiful. Next, what we've been waiting for. Who can guess it just from looking at the shiny plastic? Gumball, gumball, gumball. Beautiful colors of gumball. Gumball does the color pooling with double crochet or half double or single if you feel like it. It is a fabulous yarn and they have all new colors. I think it's a $1.75 a um, ball. So great. So it's just an acrylic yarn, but the color pooling part of it is spectacular. It is great. Look at the colors in there. So it is called Gumball. It is 100% premium acrylic, 100 grams, 230 meters. A 3.5 to 4 millimeter needle, so a 5 millimeter hook. And it is a 3 for thickness. I love it. So to border this one, I border it with chenille baby. I have chenille baby coming in that apple -y color and also this like salmon-y color in my next shipment. Because I remembered I didn't bring anything for the border. Always think about your borders. So that is fabulous ice yarn. Gumball. Gumball, where are you going? Where are you going, Gumball? I love you. <laughs> it is such a, pr the, the colors are so great. Colors are beautiful. Now, other yarn that I purchased. Can't wait. What can I show you first? Ooh, look how pretty that is. What? This is Batik Chunky. Batik Chunky. Batik Chunky, Batik Chunky, Batik Chunky, and Batik Chunky. Look at those. Oh. Aren't those great? I'll show you. Batik Chunky. So these I have purchased to make uh, pet beds, dog beds, or cat beds. Oh, wow. Dang, lucky animals. This is soft. I'm just oogling it, sorry. So great. Okay, one for you, one for me. Oh my gosh. Yummy. This might be one of my like new favorite yarns. Look at that. Okay. Batik Chunky, 100% acrylic, 100 grams. 120 meters, a six to eight millimeter needle, so a seven to nine millimeter crochet hook, and it is a size five for bulky. 
Yum E. Look at that, that thickness of it. Isn't that great? Isn't that delicious? Yum. So this colorway is just blues, was it? Blue shades, turquoise and gray. Yum. Put the gray in there. So I, in my head, one pack of four is enough to make a pet bed. It is for a cat or a small dog. If you have a medium dog or a medium, like bigger than medium, you need more yarn. Extra large, I'd probably say three packs and medium to large, two packs. So I purchased two packs in this colorway, which is green shades, turquoise, yellow, and gold. I really like those colors. You know, it'd be, I thought it would be really nice for like, you know, a pet bed. Look at, the, look at that like happy lettuce green. So pretty. And this one, which is called Batik Chunky Rainbow. What? Yeah, we're opening up rainbow for sure. What? Oh, wow. Oh! This would just, this would also make a really great C to C blanket for your bed. Look at that. And it's 100% acrylic. So wash happy. Yum. I'm just picking at it in there. What's going on? Oh, center pole waiting for me. I love a center pole. Look at that. But look at the colors. It's all like jewel tones, all delicious really soft. I'm excited about that. It has a really nice weave on it, like it won't split at all. It's splitless. I just totally took apart that ball. <laughs> oh, but look at the one on this one. Look at the colors on this one. You can see more of the turquoise. Can you see that? Like what great yarn is this? Oh, I love it. I'm right into the chunky yarn. Can't wait to use this. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Oh my gosh. Love it. Batik Chunky, where are you going? Oh, where are you going to go? Don't even know. I guess here for now because i got to find a spot. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, this one, Lorena Worsted. I could just see from a mile away in turquoise. Don't have it in turquoise. I have light turquoise. This is, that's light turquoise. This is turquoise. It's going over there. Awesome. Ooh, I'm gonna have to fluff my shelves today. My shelves need some fluffing. And the last one, because you know I needed it. What? I totally need it because, let me show you. Oh, that. I bought it for my mother-in-law, don't tell. I want to make her a nice shawl and also for one of my aunts, actually. Great aunts, aunts. Aunts. She, for Diwali, let me show you how great this is. It is the happiest yarn ever, 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 ever. Look how happy that is. So this is called Wool Cakes Light Glitz, 200 grams, 800 meters, 3.5 to 4 millimeter needle, so a five millimeter hook. It's a three weight. Can you see Bougainvillea in there? There is legit Bougainvillea and really bright orange. It's like the loudest, most fabulous yarn. The content is 10% Lincoln long wool, 24% wool, 62% acrylic, and 4% metallic lurex. Can you see the shine in there? Oh, I want it. 
So you know me, I cannot make something for someone else if I, can't, if I don't have one for myself. Not that I'm selfish, but I'm, I'd miss it too much. So I'm going to make a bunch of shawls out of this. I haven't decided the pattern yet. Can you see how fabulous that yarn is? It has like a, like the long wool, you can see it. So great. Literally so great. But I want it to be a rectangular, kind of lacy shawl, but not too lacy because this is already like so great. So I haven't totally found the pattern. If you have a really good uh, shawl pattern, rectangular shawl or something like that, leave it in the comments below or link it in the comments below. I'd love to see your ideas. Look at the bougainvillea. What? Isn't that just dreamy? Like, I love this. I need it on my shelf. I can use it, but it has to still be there. I love it. So that was it for today's Ice Yarn unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you want to check out the yarn, all the links are in the description box below, and that'll take you straight to that type of yarn. Just scroll down and you'll see all the different colors available. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. I totally enjoyed it. Like, obviously, I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do. So have a super great day. We'll see you in the next video, and stay hooked. Oh my gosh. I have so much to crochet right now, it is crazy. And even I was like, I have nothing to crochet this weekend. Yeah, I do, I do. Oh, I love it, I love it. What was your favorite? I don't even know, right? Oh my gosh, I have to, I have to start hooking right now.